Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Esther Moffrey. In this video, I want to show you what I concentrate on when it comes to forex trading. I know many people, they, they already think that, what is your best strategy? How do you trade Esther? How do you trade? And and yes, there's the part of trading. There's that part of trading. There's that part of good analysis. There's that part of understanding your charts. But I think we need to be honest. Uh, Forex is, let's say, 30, 40% of what we trade, what we see. But 60%, it depends on us, who we are, how we relate. There was a time someone told me, that you will know the type of a trader you know by how you manage your money and uh, it didn't sit well with me i was like how how would you know that and he was like uh, how you relate with your money that's how you can tell yourself are you a swing trader are you a day trader or are you a scalper so we don't come to this market and decide that today I want to be a swing trader. No, the way you relate with your money, and I'm telling you right now, the way you relate with your money, that is what uh, gives you, that is what tells us who you are as a trader, okay? So for me, uh, let me tell you how I relate with money. How I relate with money is that um, I, I can give, I can give, I'm a giver, and I know that deep down my heart I'm a giver I can give I don't have a problem if I have the money and someone may becomes I see someone who is hungry I will send I will spend my money and give them so I won't be the saver type you know there are people who save even if you come and they see someone is struggling they will not take what they have saved because in their heads they are thinking what will happen if I give you what I have saved so that is a different type of breed and I'll tell you what that brings uh, for me, I will, if I see someone with an issue, if I see something that needs to be sorted, and I know I'm not the one to sort it, I will just go ahead and sort it with my money. That's how I relate with money. So when it comes to trading, when I see I have profits and I can make more, I am more, I tend more to swing trade. So I'm not enticed with the profits that start to come. You see, the way profit starts to to print on your screen and you're distracted and you're thinking, oh, what if it is taken away? No, that's not me, guys. That's not me. So in this video, I want to share the two things that I, have, I only focus and it has brought down uh, my focus. You know, the way majority of people focus on the charts, 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 a lot and they, they, they don't balance. So anything that you don't balance at the end of the day, you will find yourself either you're good at your chat and you're failing at other things. So that if you're that person who, <laughs> if, if let's say someone buys you a lunch and they give you $10, in Kenya, $10 is almost 1,300 shillings. And you're, you're given 1,300 shillings or, or $10 to buy lunch. If you're that person who goes and save and you don't eat for me, if you buy me lunch, I will eat the lunch. You said it's for lunch. So I will not save that money. So... So that if you find yourself, you're that person who wants to save that money and you're thinking, why would I eat lunch? It's better. Just sacrifice. You can be a good scalper. Scalper, they take everything on, off the table. So if they get $2, they take it. If they get $5, they take it. If they get $10, they keep taking from the market. They're like restless. That's how scalpers are. And if you are a scalper, you can comment down below and say if I'm talking the truth. Scalpers, how they relate with money, they are good savers. They want to save every coin. They want to save every coin. And another thing, they they have preferred, they will not spend things that are not important. So they will say, instead of spending this on lunch, why can't I save and do this? That is scalper. So for swing traders are people who are like, they're just, they're just cool with their money. They can buy what they want. They can treat themselves. And that's me. For day trader, I don't know where I can place you. It's like you're in between the, the saver person and the one who can spend what they have made. Anyway, so I've come to realize in my trading journey that what made me break, 
like my breakthrough was first focusing on God. I came to realize Forex is spiritual and I have done this video so many times explaining why I think Forex is spiritual. Then the time, the time I did that statement, the time I did that statement, I think is when the light came in my eyes and I was able to see what majority of traders don't see. The, the Bible says, let me tell you what the Bible says. The Bible says that acknowledge me, acknowledge me. It's God who is telling you, acknowledge me and I will make your path straight. Once you start acknowledging it's God, you know, majority of people, you have woken up in the morning. You don't want to acknowledge God is the one who has given you the gift of life. And the day is chaos, chaos, chaos. When you wake up in the morning and you thank God, Father, I thank you for this life. I thank you. There are so many people who slept. They didn't wake up. There are so many people who slept. They are in hospital. There are so many people who slept. They don't know where they are. They are confused. But me, you have given me the gift of life. That is called acknowledging. So as a trader, how do you acknowledge God? The fact that you know that this thing, I cannot do it by myself. I need a higher level. I need, I need God. I need, I need God. When you start proclaiming that as a trader, already you are acknowledging God. Like I need God. By the way, if you make that profit, you can all, you can already even see. Ah, if this is was not God, I would not have made it. So you acknowledge God. So for me, I think what I focus more is the aspect of God in my life and God in the life when I'm trading. I focus that so much. And when I now come to trading, it's so easy, guys. I cannot emphasize how easy it is when you're trading and you have already acknowledged your creator. The Bible says that in the beginning, God created heaven and earth. In the beginning, God created heaven and earth. And um, the earth was full of darkness. It was void. It was formless. And the spirit of God was hovering. And they said, let there be light. So every time I look at the word and I look at my life when I'm trading, it's the same thing. This The first time that you decided you want to do Forex and you open the chart, what you'd see is darkness, formless, void. Like you're not understanding. Yes, there are red candles. Yes, people say when you see red, you sell. When you see green, you buy. You try that, it fails. People say you use indicators, you try that, you fail. People say, oh, session, London session is the best. You try that, you fail. Okay, people say maybe it's your capital. Your capital is small. Try funded account. You go to prop firms. You do challenges, you fail. And at that point, if you can realize that I need to acknowledge God, because if you start acknowledging God, the spirit of God will start hovering as you're doing your trades. You start hovering. And as you, the spirit of God is hovering, the spirit of God comes to do one thing to teach us the spirit of God is the Holy Spirit. And the Bible says clearly that the power shall come upon us when we receive the Holy Spirit. So I would really like an emphasis, I would emphasize that when you have God and you're trading, it is so easy, guys. It's so easy because now you have allowed the Holy Spirit to do the work for you. And I believe the reason why you are not getting it, you, you have tried to trade for one year, two years, three years, four years, five, and still you're not getting the breakthrough is because you're coming by your own might. You're coming by your own power. The Bible says it's not by my power, it's not by my might. But it's because of the Lord who has sustained me. So it's high time if you're watching me and you want that transition from losses to gains, from giving up to having hope, from feeling like you are alone. Imagine the Bible is so clear that the Lord will never leave us nor forsake us. It is so clear that God has made a path has leveled every mountain. So you can imagine the mountains that they are, they are there in Forex uh, trading, the Forex market. This is a market that has $6 trillion. What do you think will happen when everyone is coming into this market? Of course, there are people who have experience upon experience upon experience. When you're a trader, I want you to imagine anytime you have said, I want to start Forex trading, I have seen charts go all the way to 1985. You want to tell me even before I was born, people were doing Forex. 
1993, I was born in 1993, people were still doing Forex. In 1980s, 80s, people were doing Forex. And these are people who have gained experience of 20, 30 years. And you're just coming and you want to beat that with your carnal mind. It is not possible, guys. So my focus, and I will tell you when I started to focus on God. You see, when you focus on God, he, he gives you the next thing. The next thing is patience. Many people say, Forex is not a get rich quick, but let's be honest. The reason why even you go good about Forex is to see how much money that people are making in need. So everyone who comes to Forex, they come with that desire of making a lot. That is the first thing that many people do. And I remember, I will tell you for my case, I was so broke. If there's another name for broke, I would have been given that name. I was so broke. And remember, I was a stay-at-home mom. I was so broke. I didn't have value. Like, I would literally, like, my phone would get spoiled for weeks. And nobody would even notice. Like, I was that valueless. I didn't have value. And at that point, I didn't have value. I don't have money. I don't have anything. I don't have direction. At that point, point guys that is the time i told to myself like the woman with the issue of blood no only if only if i touch the hem of the garment of jesus i will be made whole that woman i can imagine she would meditate how she would run how she will touch like she started to meditate and that's what happened to me i had asked myself i have youtube uh, i have youtube i have internet why can't i just type things to make money fast because I was so broke. I didn't want something like a business that you're putting and you're waiting for customers to come. And you, you, you know how business people say it will take five years for you to get traction, all this. I didn't want that. So I just typed how to make money fast. And let me tell you, I got many people who are saying Forex trading. And I saw the lifestyle, I saw the cars, I saw the money, I saw that. And that was my first thing that attracted me to Forex. But let me tell you, it can be the first thing that will attract you to Forex, but it cannot sustain you. That desire cannot sustain you to keep doing Forex because that what you thought that Forex was, when you come into the forex market, you realize even the savings that you had planned for something else, the market has taken the, 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 the savings. If you are debt free, you come to realize now you owe people, you are in debt because you thought this is a get rich quick. You went to Cologne, you came, funded your account and guess what? You blew the money. You did again. And what you thought will solve, it becomes something. It becomes a pain. It becomes, it becomes a thorn in the flesh. So I understand that we have, to, we have to speak loud enough and tell people, yes, what attracts you to Forex is that luxury, cars and all those things. But trust me, what will keep you in Forex cannot be those things because the first encounter you will have is discouragement losses even family members will tell you you are crazy because you have taken loan from uncle you have taken loan from your auntie your sisters and they will resent you from from that and it will be chaos so what you thought was a good thing now turns up to be a bad thing. So I have come to realize that if you focus on God and the second thing, guys, be patient. Like I cannot emphasize how patience has really improved. Me, I'm a very patient person. I'm a very patient person. I know that because people tell me I'm patient. I'm patient in all aspects, in all aspects. Like I'm patient with my friends. I'm patient with everyone around me. I'm patient with situations. I'm just patient. So when it comes to Forex, I had to learn a new kind of patient. And I'm telling you, the kind of patient that Forex disciplines you to, hey, it's, it's too deep. Like Forex gives you the it gives you 
a way to be patient that you have never even thought you are capable of. And that's what I'm saying. That yes, there's the God aspect. And when you acknowledge God, you acknowledge the Holy Spirit and you acknowledge that you have the mind of Christ because it's three in one, the God, the Father, the God, the Son, the God, the Holy Spirit. Now what God gives you, he gives you patience and peace. You are peaceful, <laughs> peaceful. You are peaceful when you're trading and you're patient when you're trading. The Bible says that God shall give you peace that passes human understanding. And that word became live and real when I started to do Forex. Let me tell you, Forex can grab and steal your peace. Forex can make you so impatient because you're looking at the left. People are driving because you're looking at the right. People are doing big things and they are saying all credit to Forex and you, you are stuck here. You have not even made your first profit. Now you, you don't have patience because remember what you're seeing, you're seeing their glory. You're seeing their breakthrough. You're seeing everything good about them. What you're not seeing is the scars. You see everyone, you see this beauty, maybe this beauty, the makeup, the, the hair, everything about me. You, you're seeing this, but you don't know in five years what I've gone through to be where I am. So majority of people, when I start saying Forex makes this, Forex does this, I went to Dubai because of Forex. I was a stay-at-home mom now making like uh, how much? A thousand dollars every day. That's what we preach outside. But I came to realize it's not what will keep you. That alone cannot keep you here. Yes, it's good. It's good. It will get your attention. You will come. My friend, people are watching my videos every single day. They are ready to start Forex trading. But the thing is, what is that that you will focus that will help you to stick in the game until the end, until you break even? Peace and patience. And they can only come once you acknowledge God. Anyway, guys, I hope you have got something from this video. I have said as much as I'm doing the chart analysis, as much as I'm showing you, I made this money. As much as I'm showing you, these are patterns to make you profitable. I need to have a heart, a heart to heart conversation and tell you that yes, there is the aspect of analyzing, but still there's a higher realm. There's the God this God is so faithful. Once you call on him, the Bible says, draw near to me and I will draw near to you. So the first thing is you draw near to God and he'll start drawing near to you. So I hope you have gotten my message. God, I started to focus on God and I would wake up and I say, God, show me what I'm not seeing. Show me father, show me, show me God. There is something that I'm not seeing. Open my eyes. And I always remember, I always quote Haggai, the story of Haggai. She had put the baby, Ishmael, at the far end because she didn't want to see her child dying. And the child and the mother were both crying for God to help them. And God opened Haggai's eyes and she saw a well. And I've asked myself, the time I was almost auctioned, the time I went without food, the time my children were almost, they stayed for a whole term without going to school because of school fees and multiple times of being chased away because of school fees. The time I was embarrassed, shamed, I, I could not have the presence of being around people. I didn't want to be associated with people. People would, would add me to groups of any contribution of whatsoever and I would feel so bad because I cannot contribute. I would, my friends would call me for help and I could not help. That time, uh, as in, in that darkest moment, that's when God came. And that's why I'm saying at the end of the day, we have to realize that yes, we show the life. Yes, we show the luxury. Yes, we show all this, but those things cannot. Once you, once you come, once we attract, and you come here, the only one who can keep you, keep you here, helps you not to give up is God, gives you patience to be patient enough for God to finish what he's doing. For God, allow God to finish 
That pain is necessary. Yes, there will be pain. It's necessary. When you blow your account, it's necessary because you're being builded. Once you understand that, it will be easier for you. Anyway, guys, all the best. I pray that you will be profitable traders and you will allow God to mold you. He's our potter. He will mold you to what he wants you to become. And always put God first. Have a lot of patience. And may the peace of God be on you. Bye-bye, guys. I have to go. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.